بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از امجد حسین شاہ یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور ڈپارٹمنٹ آف انگلش آئی ایم وزٹنگ ٹیچر یونیورسٹی آف وہاڑی کیمپس کورس ٹائٹل نائنٹین سینچری انگلش ناول پروگرام بی ایس انگلش کورس کوڈ ای این جی تھری ون ون فور ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹاپک گیون ٹو می Actually, these are questions. First question, is Emma a unified novel? If so, where does the unity lie? In the plot, in the characters, in the setting, in the theme, in the style, in the mood. The other question is, discussion of the novel with respect to different critics and critical theories. So first of all, we come to the first question, is Emma a unified novel? So we come to see where is unity present in this novel. So first question, Emma a unified novel? If so, where does the unity lie in the plot, characters, setting, theme, style and the mood? So before taking the proper start, I want to tell something about the unity. A unity is being together or at one with someone or something. Actually, being together, gathering in one place or we can say that one with someone, one with something, being one. So it is the opposite of being divided, mean not division should be here. So a one unit should be. Actually, we are going to read that uh, uh, where is unity present in all the elements we have discussed already, either the unity present in the plot, in the character, in the setting, theme, style and mood. So properly with the arrangement we are going to read about uh, such a unity either it's present here so first uh, we come to the plot first is a plot uh, this means that the plot must move from beginning to end according to a tightly organized sequence of necessary are the probable events mean that from beginning to an end plot should be tightly organized sequ sequence of necessary events are probable events what are necessary and important events probable actually what is mind set for coming next coming the events so such should be tightly organized so there is organization present in the novel actually such thing we are going to read in this plot which is present in the Emma novel, actually no, plot takes start from Emma. Plot takes start from Emma, 20 years old, resident of the village of Highbury, imagines herself to be naturally gifted in conjuring love matches. She thought herself uh, she is gifted love matches. 
So, all the matches which she done are actually totally wrong. But uh, actually all the events, major events from beginning to end and all the events, visits, parties, meetings are well organized in this novel. There isn't a, a division, but um, uh, all the events, all the elements of the plot are according to the mentality. Having the tightly organized sequence in this novel. So, we can say that uh, uh, Emma is well organized according to the plot. Yes, next element is characters. Characters are in this novel are Emma Woodhouse, Mr. George Knightley, Mr. Woodhouse, Harriet Smith, Frank Churchill, Jane Fairfax, Mrs. Weston, Mr. Weston, Mr. Elton, Mr. Robert Martin, Miss Bats, Mr. John Knightley, Mrs. Elton, Mr. and Mrs. Cole. So, where should be the unity in the characters? So, if the all these characters have a reality close to the life, these are natural, pure and well-rounded. So, all these are the main points. It should be in the characters, you, we can say that there is unity. If all these characters are real, close to life, natural, pure and well-rounded, so these uh, qualities, characteristics should be in the characters. We can say that there is a unity in the novel. So, all these elements are present in this novel in the characters. Yes, <coughs> next element which we are discuss is setting. First of all, try to see what is setting. Setting actually can be a lonely cottage on a mountain social conditions, historical time, geographical locations, weather can be measured surroundings and timing. Such elements can be setting. Uh, a lonely cottage can be on uh, any mountain, uh, social conditions can be historical timing, immediate locations, timing, such things are called setting in the novel or any writing in literature. So, Unity of the place refers to, for example, uh, the idea that everything takes place in a singular setting. Everything should be takes, should be taken place in one singular thing. If all these things happen in a one thing, we can say there is a unity in setting. For example, Jane Austen's Emma is set in the countryside. 
around London in the small town called Highbury during Regency England. Hart filled the house where Emma and her father lived in separated from Highbury by a lawn or shrubberies but their state is part of the Highbury uh, timing 1815 in the early 19th century uh, novel centered on Emma and uh, uh, Emma Woodhouse implied confidence she misplaced confidence match making abilities she has occasion several romantic misadventures all these are set which is present in this novel so all the events happen in or uh, in this setting so no any event come to uh, away from such a setting and you can see that such setting you can see in this novel and there isn't any kind of event and uh, any happening happened in such a setting so you can say that there is a perfect uh, unity present in this novel and uh, there isn't uh, anything without uh, such a setting happen in this novel uh, so there is a proper unity present in this novel according to the setting yes next element point is the theme we are going to see the unity in the theme what are the themes present in this novel marriage particularly and social status the confined nature of women's existence women's existence the blinding power of imagination the obstacles to open expression particularly these are major themes present in this novel so if all the formal elements work together to develop the theme we can say that there is a unity present in the theme all the formal elements if work together such thing develop the theme so here in this novel all the visits parties dance romanticism work together such thing definitely develop the theme so in this novel emma there is properly a unity present in the theme yes next point is the style style what is meaning of the style word choices sentence structure figurative language and sentence arrangements which thing show the style so word choices sentence structure figurative language and sentence arrangement show the style of any writer if all the words sentences language and arrangement tell about the main idea tell the same thing we can say that there is unity present in the style so in general her style achieves the exactly the proper des tensing which she wants 
between the reader and fictional subject. The reader is affected whether he is aware of it or not. So, all these words which are present in this novel affected have affection for the reader. So, these tell about the main thing. All these things tell about the main thing. You can say that uh, there is a unity. So, in this novel, Emma, these words create a f effect for the reader and tell about the main idea. There isn't any kind of a division, separation from the main idea in the words, in the sentence arrangement, in the figurative language. So, there is properly unit, unity present in the style in the Ema novel. The next and last point is the mood. What is the meaning of mood? So, mood actually a word choices, figurative languages and the sentence arrangement develop the mood. Such thing actually develop the mood. Also, you can say tune and atmosphere of the story tell the mood. We can identify all these things by looking at the setting and characters, details and word choices. Probably you can look. If these are being looked in the setting, in the characters, in the details, word choices, so we can say there is mood present in this novel. By doing so, it will help us feel more connected to the writing. So, in the Emma novel, These words develop the mood and uh, these words we can say uh, can be seen in the characters, details and words and choices in the Emma novel. So, there is proper unity present in this Emma novel in the mood particularly. Okay. Yes, dear yes, students, next question. We are going to uh, discuss the novel according to the critics' remarks and critical theories. In the main article, Reception History of Jane Austen, prior to publication, John Murray's reader, William Jeffer, who was also the editor of the quarterly, review said of the novel on Emma, I have nothing but good to say. I was sure of the writer before you mentioned her. I was sure of the writer. Before publication, he said that uh, uh, she is a really a writer. Before publication, she sh he said that uh, she is a really a writer. A publication by the Sir Walter Scott appeared anonymously in the March 1816 in the Quarterly Review, although the date of the journal was October 1815, he writes, Let me entreat you to read uh, Emma. Entreat mean actually request. I'm going to request you to read Emma. 
it is the very perfection of the novel writing it is the very perfection of the novel writing there is a complete perfection of novel writing present in this novel and i can't praise it more highly than by saying it is often extremely like your own method of describing things so much affect uh, with so little effort a uh, such a perfection with the little effort she created in this novel you did a little bit effort it mean it's your wisdom and general uh, mentality uh, which give the perfection if a person does a smart work but get a lots of things so such is the quality jenaston has actually he wants to say that uh in the next line the contemporary scottish a scottish novelist susan a road to a friend also in 1816 i have been reading emma in these days he want to say that he is reading emma which is excellent there is no story whatever but the heroine is not better than other people but the characters are all true to life and the style so piquant masalaedar jise kehte hain so he want to say that there isn't any kind of story hero heroine he, heroine emma is like uh, common people there isn't any kind of spirituality in present in the uh, cra- cra- character but all the characters are all true to life we have discussed uh, in previous uh, point uh, in the characters that uh, all these characters are close to life so if the realism purity is present are present in the characters we can say that there is a unity present and the he said that the style so piquant her style is so piquant masalaedar jaise kya that it does not require the adventitious aids of the mystery and adventure so no need creating mystery and adventure in this novel it mean it is a perfect novel actually uh, such point tell us that uh, emma uh, sorry uh, jane austen uh, said about uh, her that she mostly spent her time remaining her house she didn't uh, ever go out mostly outside from her town area uh, that's why she couldn't uh, create a mystery and adventure so simply she tell this novel she she wrote this novel uh, the story themes simple themes uh, but uh, there isn't a mystery and adventure so in all these without all these thing uh, actually critic w- want to say that uh, all the characters are true to life style so piquant so he want say that uh, there is a perfection in the characters there is purity and 
truthness in the characters close to life so all these uh, elements tell that uh, emma is a perfect novel great novel yes students and there is some criticism about the lack of the story some critics uh, said against something uh, the novel john murray remarked that it lacked incident and romance the author of blinda maria to whom john aston had sent a complimentary a copy wrote uh, actually john murray remarked that uh, there is a little bit shortcoming lack of story there isn't a story so in this novel there isn't a story also said that there is a lackness in the incident and romance so definitely these are not present in this novel there is no story so these uh, the elements uh, go against uh, such novel and uh, jena stone also collected comments from the friends and family on their opinions of emma a writing several years later john henry newman observed in a letter about the novel everything miss austen writes is clever but my decision something is that there is a want of body to the story needs the body it means there is a little bit shortcoming the british critic robert arwain i wrote that unlike austen's previous novels the town of highbury in the surrey emerges as a character in its own right in the form highbury is in the form of a character so actually these lines were uh, tell that there isn't a story there is a lackness in the incident and romance there is shortcoming of the body in this novel but uh, in spite of that in spite of all these things we can say that uh, all the characters plots style have the unity in this novel and mostly critics give you know, positive remarks for this novel so no doubt some said that it, su- such is the shortcoming such are the shortcomings present in this novel so students uh, come to the uh, last point we are going to discuss the theories which are present in this novel and uh, first of all discuss the theory of character emma actually jane austen tried to create the theory of character because uh, there is a main character everywhere it is a central figure of this novel everywhere you can see that there is emma emma character moves around in this novel everywhere he try to create uh, to give the importance to the novel sorry character so emma is the character which is the central figure of this novel so the next point is 
conscious conscious is the theory conscious is the theory which is present in this novel that uh, conscious mean that a person uh, goes to uh, one place but uh, many other places happen there it mean he goes to one place to watch the one thing but uh, he sees many other things create many other thing want to go to create one thing but created many things so same like that happened here in this novel that emma uh, try to marry her governess so he became a successful doing such work a such couple become a successful couple she created a such a match becomes successful character but she thought here that she can able to create many matches she created here a conflection so conflict take start from there so the overt self contradiction it mean a man aware the dress of the animal it mean there is a contradiction in the man and same like that to happen here that imam was not according to such work which she does in this novel she she thought that she can do it but there is a contradiction she was not a such type but she thought that she uh, made of her creating matches the last uh, element is uh, psychological theory psychological theory also applied in this novel because uh, there is uh, much misunderstanding present in the mind of the, all the characters so there is a psychological problem there is a misunderstanding so one character think that he is matched matched Uh, whether such a, a such a character uh, other also think but such a happens isn't here in this novel so happens next and other different things so there is much much psychological conflict present here in this novel so And this is the last element but uh, i want to give conclusion that overall overall this is a perfect novel there is unity present in the novel in the plot in style mood and other things uh, mostly critics give the positive remarks uh, in the favor of this novel that it is a perfect novel there isn't uh, any kind of uh, lackness no doubt there is a lackness but overall generally it is a perfect novel have uh, all the elements with the unity strong plot this novel has or overall jane austen was a great writer so this is a great 
great novel. These are few references given for this lecture. Okay, thank you students. God bless you. Allah Hafiz.